Hi everybody and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big with your bets and not just win big one time or two times, but win big every time. So as we enter the third week of the Major League Baseball season, we are actually very quickly approaching the halfway point and we have several key matchups already as divisional races and league races are actually starting to heat up already. So we're going to go down through here and look at some of the uh, matchups. The best way to do this, of course, is to join. If you join, you'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section, which gives you all the great handy tools to help you make your predictions. So we're going to scroll down through here. You see I have MLB, Major League Baseball, and there's a whole bunch of games in store. So we're going to take a look at the top matchups, and let's go right off the bat here with the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. The Mets are in third place in the National League East, while the Cubs are second place in the National League Central. If you look at the uh, Power Rankings Indicator, you will see that the Cubs are being relatively steady here at plus 18. The Mets are on a downward trend, and they are at plus 7. If you look at the at the uh, what's going on as far as the strength right now, the Mets are at ice cold up, and the Cubs are at ice cold down. And the reason being is, if you look at this, the Mets have only won two out of their last six games, while the Cubs have also only won two out of their last six. So something has to give here in this series. So let's look at the totals predictor. If you're considering betting the over and under, you see here that the Mets with the red line above the blue line, they are playing in games trending over. And the Cubs are trending in games are, are uh, going under the line. So it's best to probably avoid the over under in this series. Let's take a look here at the uh, volatility oscillator to see how the teams are trending. As far as performing consistently or not consistently according to their favorite underdog status, you see that both teams are relatively stable. Here in the Mets at plus 10, the Cubs were at plus 14, now they're at plus 13, but both teams are pretty well uh, playing according to their favorite underdog status indicates. Now, if you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, I'm not going to do that uh, yet as far as the actual how the matchups go. I want to save that for the, uh, the other series, the Rays and the A's. That's the top series of the week. But if you go to that, you will see that there are different uh, pitchers and you'll see how they're performing according to their profit margin, uh, whether or not they're a good bet or a bad bet. Uh, of the uh, six scheduled starters, Hugh Darvish for the Cubs is the worst bet at minus 1,309 profit. Cole Hamels is the best bet at plus 1,561. For this series, I think the Cubs are the better overall team and they should take two out of three. Go down through here to some of the other matchups here. Uh, here's the one, you know, here's one of them that I wanted to look at, the Padres against the Pirates. The Padres are burning hot at the moment, having won their last three and four out of their last six. The Pirates are ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. If you look at the uh, power rankings indicator, you will see that the Padres are on a steep upward trend there at plus 19, and the Pirates are kind of going up and down a little bit, but they're down here well at plus Five, so you can see a clear advantage there for the Padres. Well, let's look at the totals predictor. If you want to bet the over and under, well, let's see how the teams are trending. You see that the Padres are playing in games trending over, but only slightly over, and the Pirates are playing in games that are over as well. So if you want to bet the over or under, go with the over on this one. Let's take a look here at the uh, volatility oscillator, which I always like to take a look at, and this is the wrong. Team. Excuse me, let's scroll back up here. There we go. So if you look at this here, the Padres are only plus two. They're not extremely stable. So uh, take a little heed when considering betting for or against them strictly on their favorite underdog status. The Pirates are a bit more stable at plus nine. So if you look at the pitching matchups, Chris Archer for the Pirates on Saturday is a very poor bet at minus 2,592. He's up against Eric Lauer, who is the best bet for the Padres, according to the pitcher profit oscillator, at plus 425. So go for San Diego in Saturday's game. Stephen Brault is the best bet for the Pirates. He pitches on Friday. So go for the Pirates on Friday's game. And the Pirates uh, playing at home. Give them a slight edge for the series to give them a 2-1 to one victory in the series. Now, looking at Detroit and Cleveland. 
So if you take a look at Detroit and Cleveland, you will see that Cleveland is average up. And they have won for another last six. The Tigers are ice cold up. They have won their last game, but they are, have lost four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that the Tigers are way down here near the bottom. Not surprisingly, with, when looking at their overall record, they're at plus one. Cleveland is on a downward trend, but they're still a solid plus 17. Look at the totals predictor, betting the over under. Well, let's see if that's a wise choice. You see that the Tigers are trending in games over. And the Indians are trending in games under. You see the red line compared to the blue line. So the safe bet is to avoid the over and under in this series. Let's take a look here at the team volatility oscillator. Are the teams, oh, again, easy to go down too far on this. So be careful if you're scrolling up and down through here. Your team volatility, here we go. So you see that the Tigers and the Indians are both relatively stable, plus 11 to plus 9. So it's a good idea to take a close look at the favorite underdog status when considering placing a bet on the games in this series. If you look at the pitching matchups, um, yeah, well, Zach Puisek is at plus 171 for Cleveland on Sunday. None of them are overwhelming as far as positive profit. Only him and Trevor Bauer, who's scheduled to start on Friday for the Indians, are in the positive, and everyone else is in the negative. Cleveland is clearly the better team. They have the advantage. They will win the series. They could sweep, but I would say probably win two out of three. Go down to a couple more matchups here. Plenty of different games here and on tap. You can look at all these, and here's one here. Okay, Minnesota and Kansas City. Now, this looks like a clear advantage for Minnesota. They have the best record in the league. Kansas City has the worst record. But the trend recently is for Kansas City. Look, they are burning hot recently, having won their last three. Minnesota average up. They have uh, won four of their last six, but have lost two out of their last three. If you look at the power ranking indicator, it's clear that they have a huge advantage at plus 25. To plus six, but you can see Kansas City with their recent better play is going on an upward trend. But again, they still have the worst record in the league. Let's take a look at the totals predictor. Considering the over and under, well, let's see what's happening here. Minnesota is trending in games over, and Kansas City's trending in games under. The safe bet is to go to avoid the over under because they are trending on opposite sides of the line, but the gut feeling is that Minnesota is going to pile up a lot of runs against Kansas City. So if you want to go with a little bit of a gamble, go for the over. Let's look at the uh, team volatility oscillator. How consistent have the teams played according to their favorite underdog status? Well, pretty, pretty consistent, particularly with Minnesota at plus 23. And again, Kansas City at plus 13. So take the favorite and underdog status uh, seriously when looking at the games in the series. If you look at the pitching matchups, Danny Duffy is the best bet on Saturday at plus 1,334 versus Jose Barrios at minus 408. And that is the Kansas City's probably best shot of taking a game in this series. Homer Bailey on Sunday is a very poor bet for Kansas City at minus 3,222. Go for the Twins to win two out of three in this series. So the final matchup I wanted to look at, and actually the probably the best matchup this weekend, is the Rays against the A's. The Rays are second in the AL East, right behind the Yankees. The A's are on an upward trend. They are burning hot right now, and they have won four out of their last six. The Rays are ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. And you can see if they lost their last two to the Yankees, which is furthering them away from the Yankees in the division. If you look at the uh, Totals predictor, you can see the Rays are playing in games trending well under. And the A's are trending in games well under as well. So the best bet is to clearly go for the under in this series. I would bet every game under. If you look at the uh, volatility oscillator, let's take a look at this again. You will see that the Rays are the more stable team at plus 15 compared to plus 7 for the A's. Now, let's take a look at the pitcher profit off right now. I'm going to show you how this works. I didn't for the other series, but I'm going to for this one in case you don't know. You go to the pitcher profit off right You see you can scroll down through here and put in your teams, Tampa Bay, Oakland. You can put in your pitchers. 
I put in the pitching matchup for um, Saturday's game. Yoni Chirinos against Mike Fires. If you go down through here and scroll to see the profit, you see the profit chart right here. And you can also see the comparison between the two. You can see that Chirinos is at minus 124. Fires at plus $1,634. Clearly, the better bet is Oakland and Fires in that one. In general, though, Tampa Bay, 23-12 and 12 on the road. They're the better team overall. I think they go into Oakland and take two out of three in the series. So if you don't like to go through all the numbers here, let me just mention to you one more thing. You look at these uh, top automated systems. If you look at the top automated systems. These are systems here that will help you make your bets without you really having to go through all the numbers. Just pick your sport. In this case, you pick uh, baseball, and you could pick uh, you know, these different types of profits here. You get the ROI, return on investment, 40.3. You can look at the average square deviation. The main thing a lot of people just want to look at is the profit. If you look at this system, let me just quickly go to this system here, the Abacus system. You can see down here, the main thing that people have to look at, is, of course, is the profit. You can see the game number along this uh, horizontal axis, and the vertical axis has the profit total. And it's a very good, it's a very good uh, tools to use as far as which way to go as far as placing your bets. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy the video for this week. Come back next week. And again, if you haven't joined, please join up and then join in in the fun and maximize your winnings. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.